markets. Our evening planner shows those temperatures actually slowly but surely climbing throughout our overnight hours. 45 degrees by 11 p.m. this evening, mostly cloudy skies. And because our winds are primarily from the south, southeast throughout the rest of tonight, that's also what's going to allow our temperatures to really climb. Our technical low temperature tonight will be 43 degrees, mostly cloudy skies with those showers primarily after midnight tomorrow. Let's talk about this heat. We are going to see nearly record breaking heat for tomorrow. The record in Grand Rapids for tomorrow is 60 degrees. We are expected to reach 59, so very close to it. As for Thursday, we could even break potential records. So taking a closer look to our future track, we have mostly cloudy skies the rest of tonight. The chance for rain does arrive closer to 3.30 in the morning on Wednesday. This is our best chance for more widespread precipitation, becoming more spotty throughout the rest of our Wednesday. Any rain will be very light. It's one of those days where you just want to have a rain jacket on hand no matter where you go, but we're not going to see a complete washout throughout the day. Taking a wider look with that system, just so you can see the impact of it statewide. We are expected to have that warm front move through by Wednesday. This is a look by Wednesday at 1030 PM. Our temperatures are only going to increase throughout the night on Wednesday and into Thursday morning. This is where we're going to see those stronger winds and a few isolated rain showers. But by the time we head into Wednesday night into Thursday morning, a cold front will be passing. The winds are going to get even stronger by 4 a.m. That's going to be our strongest wind potential. Still very windy throughout the rest of your Thursday, but nowhere near as strong as what they will be early in the morning hours on Thursday, along with it dropping temperatures throughout the rest of the day. So a closer look to the specific winds in your neck of the woods. We are going to have those winds primarily from the south southwest throughout the day tomorrow. Winds are still going to be breezy, but nowhere near as strong as Wednesday night into Thursday morning. This is a look by 6 a.m. on Thursday. Winds could exceed 55 miles per hour along the lake shore early because of that. A high wind watch has been issued from 7 p.m. Wednesday until 1 p.m. on Thursday. Our super seven day planner shows a high temperature of 59 degrees for Wednesday, dropping throughout the day on Thursday. When it comes to the amount of precipitation, we're not expecting a whole lot. Most locations will see under a tenth of accumulation between Wednesday and Thursday. So this is not really a rain system that we're concerned about. It's really the wind. We're going to be tracking those stronger winds throughout the day, dropping temperatures throughout the rest of your seven day outlook.